Hi, my name is Mike Ferguson. I am a graduate student in biomedical engineering at Boston University. And my project is basically trying to grow bits of human tissue in the lab from scratch using stem cells. So the reason scientists use animals in research is because they have complex tissues and organs that carry out functions that are similar to those of humans. So animals are used in applications such as drug testing or uh, making new discoveries about biology or learning more about how our bodies work. And while we have learned much from using animals in research, the simple fact still is that they differ in many ways from humans. For example, in drug testing, there are cases in which we test drugs in animals. These drugs work, they cure diseases in these animals, and then we test these same drugs in humans and they fail. Not only do they fail, but sometimes these drugs are actually lethal. So there's a real need for more complex and more realistic human tissues that we can use in the lab. And of course, the closer we can get to the real thing, the better. The way my project seeks to do this, to make models of human tissues and organs in the lab, is to use these really cool things called organoids. These are often thought of as mini organs. Uh, these are basically bits of tissue of a given organ that we can grow from scratch in the lab using stem cells. So there are intestinal organoids, lung organoids, and just about any organoid for any organ you can think of. The problem with all of these mini organs is that none of them have blood vessels. So blood vessels are needed to deliver nutrients and oxygen to all of the cells in our body as well as remove waste. And without blood vessels, we just can't have larger complex tissues and organs. And this is what we see with the organoids. Uh, they don't grow to be bigger than a millimeter or two in diameter. A lot of the cells die, and even though they are representative in many ways of the given organ, they're still lacking a lot in terms of complexity and functionality. So the way that I'm giving these organoids blood vessels is I'm using endothelial cells, which are the cells that make up the blood vessels, to self-assemble themselves into blood vessels. And then using a special device, I can actually perfuse these blood vessels with a blood substitute and make thick vascularized tissue. So in essence, what I have is a network of blood vessels. These blood vessels are perfusible. They behave like real blood vessels. And by combining these blood vessels with organoids, I can actually functionally vascularize the organoids and get them to grow into larger and more complex human tissues that are representative of the real thing in the lab. Ultimately, if we have perfect or near-perfect human tissues that we can grow in the lab, we can use these wherever and whenever animals are currently used. For example, in basic research and drug testing. And because the tissue is human, not only do we save animals, but we can save humans as well.